Yeah. What's that around your neck there? What's that you got there? Is that a cross? A rosary? I want to show you a scripture, right? And now you knowing that we went through slavery, all the things that happened, I want to show you something about that cross. Give me a back in two. A back in chapter two of us 18. Yeah. What profit is the graven image? What profit is that to you? Is that, that make you some money? Do you get some spiritual power when you wear it? You know what I'm saying? If you say uh, Jesus three times, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you feel the energy, it ain't no profit to it. That the maker of his work trust that there is to make them idols. Woe unto him that saying to the wood, awake to the dumb stone, arise. So he said, whoa, it's a to destruction to the people that wear those things. That's why I read this scripture, because I don't want you to have destruction, man. So what do you need to do? Now I know it is not. Oh, praise it. Clap it up for James, man. Clap it up for James, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's that. Don't put it in your pocket. You can go ahead and toss it on seven miles. Yeah, go ahead. They're all praise to the most high. That's, that's a start to repent. That's a start to change it. That's a start to getting out of this slavery and hellhole that we've been in. Now, awesome. Here you go. It's reunited in Christ. Keep the commandments. That's our only advice. No necromancy, but we're here to bring the dead back to life. Now, see, what you just did was very, very commendable because that's called what? Repentance. That's the type of moves that we got to make if we want to come what? out of these curses that the Lord put upon us what? for breaking his commandments. Read that. Watch this. Micah 1 and 7. Yeah. And all the graven images there are. All the what? The graven images. The, that's a graven image you just tossed. Read. Thereof shall be beaten to pieces. Shall be what? Beaten to pieces. Meaning they shall be destroyed. All these men with these blinged out crosses and Jesus pieces, they make it a mockery of the black Messiah. What? When every time they do that, every Jesus piece they made was to make a mockery of the black Messiah. Read up. That's why they do it. Read up. And all the iron thereof shall be burned with the fire. And all the graven images thereof shall be beaten to pieces. And all the iron thereof shall be burned with the fire. So we shall burn these idols. We shall burn these crucifixes. We shall burn these Jesus pieces. What? They need to be destroyed. Why? Because they bringing this guy to the forefront. Right? Let's talk about this a little more, right? So this is the real Messiah. This is the fake Messiah, correct? Now what comes with the fake Messiah? Why are we so adamant on what Christ looked like and what he's depicted as? Why are we so adamant? First off, give me John 8, 32. We're going to start there. Why are we so adamant on what Christ looked like and um, what his depiction is? Because, read, John chapter 8 and verse 32. Oh, and ye shall know the truth. We want to give you the truth. That picture right there, that so-called white man, that is a lie. That's that is good. not the truth of Christ. That is not the truth of the Bible. What? Read it from the top. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So understand, reason why we so adamant on what Christ looked like, because the Bible tells us what he looks like, and we don't want to speak our verse of the Bible. Y'all understand that, right? Because you was in the Christian church, Christian church, Christian church. Y'all was all raised to think that was Christ. But now we just found out what? That is not Christ. Now, with, with the with the so-called white man, whose real name is Cesare Borgia, right, of Rome, what do he bring? What is his gospel? What is his doctrine? What does he bring to us to, for us to be speaking against him so hard? Well, let's find out. So let me ask y'all a question in the Christian church, right? Yeah. Do you find gay members in the Christian church? Oh, no. Homosexual members? No. no. All right. So Miss Nee said no. no. You say yes. I say no. And every choir, most most no. Christian choirs, there's a so-called homosexual man somewhere right. involved, and that's why a lot of black men are not in the Christian church anymore. They leave in the Christian church because homosexuality is running rampant. It's running rampant. So let me ask you this. That is okay with so-called white Jesus. That's perfectly fine. Come as you are. Ain't that what white Jesus teach? Come as you are. 
and the Lord is going to love you anyway. The Lord loves the sinner and hates the sin. Is that true? Is that according to the black Messiah? Is that according to the Bible? Let's find out. Give, give me uh, Romans 1 and 26. Let's find out. Let's see if homosexuality is okay with God, with the black Messiah, or is it okay with the so-called white Jesus? Right? Read what you got. Romans 1 and 26. Mm -hmm. For this cause, for this cause. Give me, start at verse 25. Verse 25. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? So-called white Jesus did. So-called white Jesus turned the truth of God into a lie. Right. He the one told you to come as you are. Right. He the one told you that it's alright to be a homosexual. Right. God's still going to love you anyway. He the one told you that we in grace, so we don't got to keep the laws of God. Yeah. That's what this man taught you. But what what did it say you get me from the top? Who changed the truth of God into a lie? And worship the serve the and serve the creature more than the creator. That's what white Jesus teaches you. He teaches you to serve the creature, which is us, rather than the creator which is the Heavenly Father. That's what he's teaching you. Read. Who is blessed forever. Amen. Come on. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. So because we chose to serve the creature instead of the creator, instead we chose to serve Caesar of Bojaya, God said he's going to give us up to vile affections. What do you think those vile affections is, James? Things we go through in life. Things we go through in life. What about you, Bob? Vile affections. What's an affection? You affectionate to somebody. What's a vile affection? Uh, Miss Lee, what's a vile affection? I would say like love. Love, but what kind of love? Black love. Let's see. Read on. For even their woman. Even their what? Their woman. Come on. Then change the natural use into that which is against nature. So the woman changed her natural use against nature. What is that? And likewise, also the men, Come on. leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust, one toward another. So a man left the woman to go burn after his lust after another man. That is called homosexuality. What? And that is against the true God, the what? true what? black Messiah. But wait, white Jesus said, love who you love is all love in Jesus. That's what, that's what white Jesus said. Right. But the true black Messiah, he said what? Read 26 again. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. Come on. For even their woman, they changed the natural use into that which is against nature. So the most high, the real black Messiah said, you know what? Since they want to follow them, the, cre the creature, let them give themselves up into homosexuality. So yes, homosexuality is a sin. That's right. That is not good according to the scripture right, but right. wait but wait there's more then not white jesus said you can eat whatever you want as long as you give thanksgiving long as you pray over it you can eat it right go back go back go back go back to the scripture read verse 26 again what club was that at <laughs> That was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. Didn't have to class. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. What the hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again, 30. For this cause, God gave them up unto all affections. Come on. For even their women did change their natural use into that which is against nature. Read. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the women, burned in their lust one toward another. Read. Men with men. Work. So it says men with men, read. Working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was me. So when it says working in them that which is unseemly, meaning what benefit does it does it have with a man being with with another man or a woman being with another woman? Right. Man and woman was supposed to be put together to do what? Prosper, make children. To make children. Yeah. That's yeah. the natural um right. That's natural, right? Yeah. The woman's natural role is to give what birth, right? Uh, so when a woman is with another woman and a man is with another man, can that happen? Can we reproduce? No. So when they're pushing homosexuality, what they're actually doing is they're actually
killing our own race. Right. Because guess what? When a nation cannot reproduce itself, the nation dies. Right. Now, you see more homosexuality going on in our neighborhoods than you do in any other neighborhoods. Why is it that when you see it in our neighborhoods, they're more flamboyant? More of them are even going into the doctor's office and having the full procedures of being trans, what trans what? Gender. Transgender. No. But God never created them to be like that. Really? But guess what? Even if we out here speaking about it, people have a problem with it when you speak against what this man says. That's when, when, when he allows it and we talk against it, we looked at as being wrong or out of order, right? Preach. But we're preaching God's word. That's God right. says it. We're not saying it. We're just reading what God says. But That's guess what? Right. It's going to get even more specific. Read on. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind. God gave them over to a reprobate mind, meaning they no longer can think straight. They think that it's okay for them to be that way. Right. That's a reprobate mind. Right. When you turn your mind from God and go off with your own thoughts, you're reprobate. Believe. To do those things which are not convenient. They're not convenient because nothing nothing comes from it. Right. No benefit to it. Read. Being filled with all unrighteousness, uh -huh. fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, Deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of God. All of those things come with the homosexual spirit. That's haters, right. um, malice, all these different spirits comes with that homosexual spirit. But read on. Despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things. It says inventors of evil things. I've read something to where there's a homosexual woman who invents, I'll say, sex toys for homosexuals. Inventors of evil things. Read. Disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable. It, it says without natural affection. Man being with a man, a woman being with a woman is unnatural affection. Read. Implacable, uh -huh. unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God. Stop. It says they know the judgment of God because when when growing up, they never really saw that. So and back then, our parents taught us better than that. It was shame. It, it was shun when we were growing up. Right. But now, guess what? It's acceptable. Right. So guess what? They know the judgment of God, right? right? That they which commit such things are worthy of death. They're what? Are worthy of death. So they know that. They're worthy of death. But guess what? We've been bamboozled for so long. Right. We'll listen to the creature rather than the creator. Bring it out. But read on. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. It says not only in the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. So guess what? If you are in, in agreement with it, you're going to die with them when Christ returns. <laughs> that's what that's saying. <laughs> so guess what? That's why we come out here and we teach what's right according to God. That's right. We're not going to go off of our own feelings, our own opinions. Right. We're going to give it to you straight, God's word. Right. That's 100% right. Genesis 1. Genesis 1. That's 100% right. Now, understand. Understand, Bob. Hold on now, bro. Hold Hello, on. Bob, we're about to be out here just for you right now. No, right you. now, James. Right now. Because, wait, we got to further prove. We got to, Miss Nee, we got to further Prove. We got a further proof. Give me give me Leviticus 20. 20 and 13, right? Let's further go on about it, right? Now read what you got. Genesis 20 and 13. Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 13. On, if a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. Uh -huh. They shall surely be put to death. Now that's the law on homosexuality. What? But guess what white man Jesus say? It's all good. Just pray and say Jesus' name a hundred times. But that's not according to the scriptures. Now, Bob and James, what, we, what I'm trying to get y'all to understand, y'all are men, bro. Y'all are the men that's supposed to be leading our people into the salvation. This is not a game. This is not a joke. 
Bro. This is not nothing to sneeze at. This is everything we need to be paying attention to. There's nothing more important than learning the ways of our Heavenly Father. Hey. There's nothing more important. Now, white Jesus, yet again. White Jesus, yet again. Now, let's discuss. How many of y'all eat pork? You know, you eat it. You eat it. Now, with white Jesus, he said you can eat whatever you want as long as you pray over it, right? That's what he told you. Is that true? Is that true? Bring it out. According to what the Bible says. No. no. So remember the brother before said we're gonna be under the curses because we didn't we didn't do what he said. So now we further proven that we doing what white Jesus say. We're following him to the letter. Which is what? You can eat whatever you want. But let's see what the Bible say about what you can eat and what you cannot eat. Because a doctrine comes with him. That's why we trying to tear him down. That's why we're trying to shoot him with everything we got. Look. Every script we got in this Bible, we're trying to tear white Jesus down. Look. White Jesus is the fake Jesus. Look. There's only one Jesus Christ, the Messiah. That's and he is a so-called black man. That's right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.